Hey guys, how's it going? Mage Gaming here once again, bringing you another video. And uh, for those of you who didn't know, I do play World of Warcraft, and this is my first World of Warcraft video. And uh, playing on my Fire Mage. The new heroics are out, and I got some new gear, and everything's pretty cool. So I figured I would show you guys how to be a Fire Mage. So here we are. Uh, I guess the way to start would be the spec. Uh, here is pretty much the cookie cutter spec that I'm running right now. Um, you can pause the video to go ahead and copy that down if you were a fire mage and trying to learn what to do. So everything's pretty standard, getting extra crit here, haste here, blah blah blah. Some really really key things to get, uh, combustion, your only real cooldown is fire. You definitely need that, living bomb, obviously any of your tier you need that. Uh, Dragon's Breath good for AoE, Blast Wave good for AoE, uh, Improved Hot Streak, this stuff's good. So yeah, that's the spec. Uh, here are Glyphs. Uh, Glyph Fireball, increase the critical strike chance of your Fireball spell by 5%. Really good. Fire is all about the crit, so getting 5% crit from a Glyph, yes, yes. Glyph Molten Armor, your Molten Armor grants an additional 2% spell crit. That's uh, That makes your Molten Armor give you 5 more crit. And Glyph of Parablast, increase the strike chance of your Parablast spell at 5%. So, all about the crit with these Prime Glyphs. That's all it's about. Uh, with your Major Glyphs, you have a little bit more choice here. I'm running Glyph of Dragon Breath, Glyph of Blink, and Glyph of Invisibility. Uh, there might be better or worse ways to go. Evocate might be better for raids to try and take some strength of the healers. Uh, Polymorph, whatever, to help CC things that have dots on them. Your Call and Minor Glyphs is whatever you want to do. Uh, so yeah, that's Spec and Glyphs. Let's go over some key abilities that Fire has. Uh, you can see the main ones on my bar here. Fireball is obviously going to be your filler. You have Scorch, which both applies a crit buff, or crit debuff on the target, along with being a move you can spend when you move. You can see, as I press Scorch, I can actually move while I hit it, which gives Fire uh, a lot of movement. You can see this here on my screen shows that I have a instant cast pyroblast I can throw, which is good. Uh, obviously, pyroblast being another move that you are going to want, it's definitely a part of a major rotation. Uh, fireblast is an instant cast damage. You once again helping you out on the mobility thing. Also, when you get an impact proc, uh, you can hit fireblast to spread your dots to near my targets, helping you to AOE mobs down in a dungeon. Uh, Dragon's Breath, good for AoE. Uh, the, I know you use it in PvP. I don't PvP as fire, so this is pretty much just a dungeon and raid kind of guide. Uh, Blast Wave, good for AoEing in dungeons or raids. Uh, Flame Strike, I keep on my bar once again for AoE. Uh, Living Bomb, you're going to want to apply all the time. Don't ever let it fall off the boss. Uh, you want to let it explode and then reapply it. Uh, Flame Orb. Good fire fire move. Uh, other specs use it as well, but fire is the bestest for it, in my opinion. You can, here is flame orb. Uh, locks into a target, zaps it with fire, and if you spec the way I did, the fire orb will explode after it on zapping them, so that's good. Uh, you're going to want combustion and mirror image on your bars, because they are your two, cool, two cooldowns along with flame orb is fire. And that's about it. Uh, obviously blink to avoid mechanics. If, if you're a mage, please don't mess up mechanics. You have blink, you're supposed to use it. Like, I don't want to see... If there's fire on you like this, I don't want to see this. No, no, no. Do not backpedal out of fire. Fire. And you're out of it. You're all the way over here. You're not in fire anymore. Uh, normally, I do not consider any add-on to be mandatory. Combustion helper is pretty close to mandatory. Uh, it helps track all the debuffs you want to worry about, timers, anything like that. So get Combustion Helper, that's this little box right here. Uh, so let me just go ahead and show you a fire rotation. You're going to start with a Scorch. That's going to apply your Critical Mass debuff, which is going to increase your crit against the target by 5%. Apply Living Bomb, start casting Fireball. Uh, you see, after you get the proc, you hit a Pyroblast, keep hitting Fireball. Keep an eye on your Living Bomb timer, and as soon as it expires, refresh. There's the impact proc I was talking about before. Single target, this doesn't matter, but for AoE, you would want to hit your 
Fire blast so you can spread your dots around all the targets. So you can see, uh, I should have Arcane Intellect up, I did not, but you, Molten Armor and whatnot, so, uh, you show a pretty good crit. When you two crits in a row, you will get Hot Streak proc, which is what's letting me shoot the instant cast Pyro Blasts. Combustion Helper is actually also, uh, follows whether or not you mess up your rotation and you overwrite a Hot Streak, so it helps you improve upon yourself, which if you've watched my other videos, you will know that, uh, you should always be trying to improve yourself. Always trying to get better. Uh, now, this is called Combustion Helper because working combustion properly is actually pretty difficult. Um, combustion is complicated. It takes all of your dots on the target and wraps them together and creates a whole new dot um, without removing them. So the key is you want a high damage ignite, you want to have hit them with a pyro blast recently, and a relatively new living bomb put on the target. And once all those factors are met, along with critical mass being up, you want to hit uh, your combustion button. So, we're going to try and meet all those things. Essentially, uh, you shoot fireballs, you put a living bomb up, and then when you eventually get a pyroblast proc, then with the pyroblast, hopefully you will have crit sometime soon, and the ignite buff will be up, and once all those things are met, you'll hit combustion. And combustion hits really hard and is, like I said, your only fire-specific fire, fire specific cooldown. So you're going to want to make sure you hit that whenever you can, unless there is a phase on the boss coming up. Here you can see all the things line up, other than, there we go, you hit combustion, and there it goes. Hits for 12k, you see it ticking here for 4k, and then uh, 20k, and getting some real good procs on my hot streak there. So yeah, you can end up dealing quite a bit of damage as fire, and uh, that was how you work combustion. You want to hit uh, Flame Orb on cooldown, and probably your image on cooldown, unless you're going to try and line it up with a hero phase or something like that. And that's about all there is for fire. Um, anytime there's a lot of movement, you know you have your Scorch, which you can spam. So that's always good. Uh, you can still maintain pretty good DPS with high movement. So while the other poor casters are stuck and able to do anything, you're going to run in circles and shoot Scorch at the boss. And win, because mages are the bestest. So... Yeah, that's about it. Uh, just a couple more things. Uh, in longer fights, sometimes you have some mana problems, so keep mana gem on your bar. You see I've got it here. Mages have hero, so you want to put time warp on your bar so that you can hero whenever your group needs it, or your raid needs it, or whoever. Uh, you shouldn't have to evocate in most fights. Some fights, if they're ex extremely long or they require a lot of AoE, which eats mana pretty quick, you may have to evocate to fix that up. But other than that, you guys are ready to go. So... Uh, this has been my guide to Fire Mage. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it informative. Uh, please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have a request for me to make a certain kind of video or anything, uh, leave that in the comments below. I do also play Holy Paladin, so I can make a video for that if you guys would like. And I will see you guys later.